Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about inverting summing amplifier. Guys, these are really, really important in applications, guys. You can directly ask for 5 marks. So basically, once you see the inverting, you can write all the points belonging to the inverting terminal, guys. Inverting, inverting amplifier, which we have discussed as the first application of this chapter. Okay, basically moving on to summing. So here, if there are three things, it's going to add these things and give that as the output. So I drawn them three as parallel guys. V1 plus V2 plus V3 is going to be our result V0. So that we should prove. So basically these three are parallel and in this I1, in this I2 and in this I3. Okay, moving through VA. So we'll be assuming again these two are virtual ground. That's fine. Further moving on, there is another path like this. So basically in this also the same thing happens guys. Whenever this voltage or current or supply wants to travel into the off amp as the condition is infinity it will flow through this shortcut path that is nothing but through RF that is nothing but a feedback network okay guys so I hope everyone can draw this diagram it's really simple guys okay so let us go through our expressions okay in the circuit all the three inputs should be added are applied to the inverting terminal of the operational amplifier we need to add them and we applied them to the operational amplifier inverting terminal that's the important point as node b is grounded due to the virtual ground concept we can say that i1 okay similar condition guys okay we'll be writing in between these two and in between these two i1 is nothing but v1 minus va by r1 v i2 is nothing but v2 minus va by r2 v3 sorry i3 is nothing but v3 minus v V3 minus VA by R3. So we got three equations here. And let us go through this IF also. IF is nothing but VA minus V0 by RF. So we totally got four equations. Though these are the four equations which I have wrote like that guys. So now let us apply KCL at this. Guys, inverting is the best and easiest part guys. As if you will be applying here, you are going to get I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equals to IF. That's it. That's what we have just written here. So I have substituted all the four formulas which we have solved and I have just wrote them here. As I have told you that from the concept of virtual ground we can say that VA is equals to zero. Yeah, that's true. So we have just kept a VA is equals to zero. So I got this equation that is nothing but V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2 plus V3 by R3 is equals to minus V0 by RF. So further moving on we got let us assume that R1 equals to R2 is equals to R3 is equals to RF. So then we're gonna get V0 is equals to minus V1 plus V2 plus V3. So this negative sign again indicates that there is a phase shift of 180 degrees. So hence the output of is negative. Hence it is an inverting summer or inverting summing amplifier. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this. I have discussed it in depth guys. You need to understand it 100%. It's really simple and easy guys. There is no confusion or anything like that in this topics guys. So... In the next video, we'll be going through non-inverting summing amplifier. Thank you. Thanks for watching.